place. Born in Chattanooga, very proud of her. I set many records here at uh, Lebanon. And I know her dad is a Blue Devil, and she's going to be a Blue Devil. I said I wasn't going to do this, one, but I did get it. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. I've seen her grow up all her life. Beautiful parents, beautiful family, beautiful grandparents. I'm proud of St. Dukes. Coach Pat, will you lead us in a prayer, please? All right, let's pray. Father, we uh, are so grateful for opportunities like this. Uh, Lord, as a parent, there's nothing greater than to see our kids succeed and excel in the things that they love. Uh, so, Lord, we know that, that you, you give us those things, the desires of our heart when we work hard. Father, we also know there's something greater than that that's at stake here, that's in play. And that is, Lord, that you're going to use Addie Grace at, at Chattanooga, not only just to be a great basketball player, but, Father, to be a great witness for you testimony of what it means to be someone who loves basketball, who loves school, but also loves Jesus. So, Father, we pray for that. I pray, Lord, that you would protect her, keep her from injury. Uh, Lord, continue to give her that fighting spirit uh, to work hard, and uh, Lord, to go there and be a witness for you. I thank you, Lord, for her family, for all that that means to her, for her friends here. I thank you for this school, Lord, who has given her the opportunity to play basketball, uh, to showcase her talent. So, Father, as she goes through this process. Let it be a very exciting time for this family, for her friends, but also, Lord, let it be an example of what others can do as well uh, with hard work, Lord. Uh, so we thank you for that. Look forward to a great day of celebration in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, Coach Dobson has a few words you'd like to say. Thank you, Grandma. Thank you, Grandma. I wanted to talk. Um, and I asked to be here so I could talk. Um, and I just want to say that I have Addie Grace in a program mistake as her at a freshman putting on a JV team and I think that lasted all the way until we got to camp in the summertime and she moved from JV to varsity and uh, was my starting varsity libero for four years until her senior year and I was like God I need, I need this girl to hit and she came and she was a hitter and, and, and led the team in, in kills all of five five by four. <laughs> Five, six on the roster. Um, and, and murdered the front row. Addie, by far, is probably one of the most determined, hardworking kids I've coached for 24 years, period, hands down, by far. Um, and I'll never forget, and I say this about the three of them all the time, we played um, her junior year, we played six on three. Play six on three, and uh, I was like, "Okay, if you lose, you got a consequence." And the three of them was like, "Okay, fine, whatever." So, and they played, and they lost. Six versus three, they lost. And the first thing that came out of his mouth was, "These tips are about to be stupid. They're gonna tip us to death." And she covered every tip. She picked up every tip. She picked up every deep ball. They just happened to just happened to lose. And uh, I said, "Okay." And they was like, run it back, coach, run it back. And I was like, I don't have time for this. So if I do this again, you better win, or I'm going to double the consequence because you wasted my time. And they said, run it back, coach. Um, I said, if we run it back, we're going to play nine on six. They can sub anytime they want to. They can play whoever they want to anyway. And they looked at me dead in my face and said, run it back. And Addie turned around and said, we're going to win this time. <laughs> and walked away and literally murdered nine on three. They beat them, um, killed them. I think they did it on purpose. I think they played around them the first time on purpose. Um, and that's just, that's the personality she has. That's what she does. I've had kids come up to me and they're just like, Addie's my motivator. Addie's my motivator. When, when it gets bad, Addie's that kid that does not stop, will run through a wall, will run over the box, will tear down the net, will push you out of the way. If it's meant to be, it's up to me type personality. Um, and, and that is what Chattanooga is gaining. Um, unfortunately, what we are losing, but once the Blue Devil, <laughs> always the Blue Devil, um, this door is open for any porter to walk through that door. <laughs> <laughs> I am not only losing one of the most relentless athletes I've ever coached, and I'm, I'm saying this, and I know everybody, Will attest to this. Um, we're we're losing the Blue Devil family that will do anything you need, even without asking. 
speaking without words. I walked in and my whole office was rearranged and organized and cleaned and I didn't even know it was, I didn't even know they had a key. <laughs> and my whole thing was rearranged and I am grateful. I am better and blessed because I've known the quarter. Period. You you can't come to Lebanon without knowing you guys. And um, I know Chattanooga got to run for their money. They've inherited an amazing athlete, a beautiful family, and a wonderful person. You're gonna kill it on the court and academically. I just that's just who you are. I have no doubt in my mind. You're gonna go be amazing. Um, so I wish you all the best of love. And hopefully this is not the last time I see a porter. Oh, no. <laughs> this will be the last time I see a porter. But um, I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't have much to say. <laughs> uh, but I will piggyback off what AD said. I was smart enough to put Addy on varsity <laughs> when I have to try it. <laughs> so uh, she started the third game of her freshman year for us. After that, I pretty much handed her the reins of our basketball team. Uh, let's talk about something that you probably know. Um, 1,400 plus points, all, almost 700 rebounds, over 500 assists, and over 300 steals. If you look at that, that career there, if you just look at the stats part, that, that's amazing and, and unbelievable. And I want to give her a round of applause for that. <laughs> Multiple individual awards, MVPs, all districts, all tournaments, things like that. But what's more important than that to, to me, to all of them, and to probably all of you was 108 wins along with Avery Harris with our senior class, 108 wins. Yeah. Uh, three mm -hmm. state tournament appearances, mm -hmm. four sub-states, three of them we won, three region championships, uh, two district tournament championships, and two regular season district championships. Uh, if you put that on a resume, an athletic resume, that's, that's pretty special. Um, but more important than that is a lot of what AD said is about the family. Um, they taught me more about what it was to be a Blue Devil. Um, I've been here six years now, and I met William Porter six years ago, and William Porter ain't changed in six years. <laughs> um, and he's all Blue Devil. And, and we've had many, many conversations about the benefits of the team and the program and never about the benefits of Addie Porter. And that's something that is very rare in this world today. And, and I just want you guys to know that I really appreciate that. And, and that, that is something that we could all learn from. We preach to our athletes every day about team. Well, they live the team. They live the team concept. Um, I've told William, William multiple times over the last few months. I said, I've coached your daughter for the last four years. Now you're coaching mine. <laughs> and she's 10. So I've kind of turned her over to him now. Uh, but uh, I appreciate Bless that as well. Addie, Addie has, if you put a picture of Addie, and then you put definitions out there, there's several things that'll come to mind. Leader, teammate, competitor, winner, and other things like that. She's 5'4", I think we list her at 5'6", on the <laughs> roster. But the one thing I always told, and I got, I got into confrontational conversations with college coaches many, many times when they told me what she couldn't do. And then what I told them, you can't measure her heart because it's inside of her and you can't get it through the door. And we had many conversations. We knew God would work it out for us. We knew God would work it out. There was frustration a lot of times because she wasn't getting what she thought she had worked for and she wasn't. 
but here over the last couple months, things really, really started playing out. And, and Chattanooga is very fortunate to get her. When I, I'll tell you the story I had with, with uh, Katie Burroughs, the head coach of Chattanooga, when she called me a few weeks ago. And she said, I know you told me this two years ago, but I can't get Addie Porter's name out of my mind. I'm, she, it's in my sleep. It's when I wake up. Every time I think I'm going back to Addie Porter. And the number one thing she said, she said, we need competitors. And she's a true definition of a competitor. She's a true definition of a student athlete. I could go on and on, but I got a banquet Wednesday night, so I got to save some of this. <laughs> okay? But I want you to know from the bottom of my heart that you – you have helped this program. You have put this. Pro you have helped put this program. I mean, there's banners up there. There's banners out there. There's going to be more. But the more important thing is the legacy you left in the locker room and the team concept, because that is something that's to me more important than anything else. Because that stuff will will cause that stuff. And I love you very much. I'm always here for you. And. That's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs>